Same thing with a glove. Yeah. So the the constant trauma to the head with the, pillow. with the pillow. And a fist. And a fist. So I get a brick. I put it in the pillow. I hit you with the brick. And, and knock you a little out. But I just shook your brain. Right. I hit you again. I didn't cut you. I didn't knock you out. No. I didn't. But either either I cut you one good time and, sl- and, and 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 drop you and it's over, right? Or I hit you ten twenty times with that pillow, and you 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 might not be unconscious, but tomorrow you have a headache, your brain will be swollen. It, it sounds crazy, but just that's the reality. If but it actually makes sense because like that constant trauma of getting into a car accident every time somebody's hitting you, yeah. or the one time, and one time. so it's like safer. It's safer and. And bare knuckle, you don't, you don't, th- you don't have that cast on your hand where you feel confident in just throwing it as hard as you can. Mm. There's more. There's statistics that we have more broken hands in boxing. Yeah, that's crazy. That is crazy. Yeah, that's nuts. And and you st- and yo, it's it's kind of nuts to see that fighters in boxing will fight with a broken hand more yeah. than yeah. like you're not doing that bare knuckle like no. that. Yeah, and, and, and the, it's, it's also the the length of the fight. Mm. The length of the fight plays a, a big role. Yeah, it's not thirty minutes of fighting. Yeah, it's ten minutes of fighting. Wow, you know. 